His Excellency Peter Christian for his reflection. Good evening. And thank you, Master of Ceremony. It is a distinct honor for me to be asked to stand here today in this very historic site of a man who knew what nature was, a man who knew what he liked, and a man who declared what he wanted, unashamed, unafraid, and encouraging to many of us. As the current and outgoing chairman of PIF, I stand here today to speak myself out of a job. I have often said that the Pacific is rich with culture. That it is this richness in tradition and culture that binds us, the commonness of our culture, the similarities, and in that the true spirit of Piafia should be in our hearts. But I tell you this, that it is the uncommon tradition, our differences, that binds us well together and makes us strong. And that is because we take care to respect the differences that exist between the member countries of this forum island. It is this reason that makes this forum strong and able to stand the current situations that exist in this region, in this world, and in this universe. <coughs> it had been my pleasure for the past 12 months to be called chairman of a very distinguished forum. And if not being able to operate a microphone indicates my age, so be it. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I came from Tonpe, the Federated States of Micronesia, fully prepared with a written statement that would have astounded even me. But I left my hotel a while ago without it. <laughs> and hopefully somebody's picking it up for me. Nevertheless, if he arrives not in time, I'll say this to you with open heart. I want to thank the government and people of Samoa on behalf of the delegations that have arrived for their hospitality and show of respect to those of us who have dared to come ashore on Samoa. I also take this opportunity at this time to congratulate a member of this forum that has just finished with the difficult task of holding constitutional elections for their government. And in that regard, I congratulate the government and people of Papua New Guinea on the occasion of their re-election and the reappointment of a new government to carry forward the aspirations and the protection of their people. And I thought I had this brain going really well and not that it might get shorter than the other one. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, there are so many things that I was prepared to say thank you for. But I guess I will have the opportunity in the confines of rooms where we will be relegated to discuss other matters. And so for the sake of getting us away from meeting between you and the food, let it suffice for me to say this again, that the form serves a new purpose. And if one looks for a good reason to answer that question, or to make that question no longer a question of a statement of our achievement, let it be that rancid in which most of us, in which all of us, participated in and many of us pray for its success has been a success. And ladies and gentlemen, having said that, I thought the mic was soft. And so I raised my voice only to be told by the good Lord, please be silent on the ground. <laughs> Yes, again, on behalf of the people of the Federated States of Martinica and the members of the former Island countries, that we thank you for welcoming us to the shores and for making it possible for us to visit this historic place. 
for he said, this is where I wish to lie. And with that, I thank you all for giving me the opportunity to speak with four microphones. <laughs> I forgot something that I was just doing. I gave up this job as chairman of forum and happily asked the Prime Minister of Samoa to please step forward to accept the baton of responsibility.